down the inside of Dwarf, but again, Dwarf just manages to get the wheels down early, but goes around the outside just like he did with Harp. But Dwarf saw it coming, closes down the door and keeping him back there. But look at this, just aggressive riding from the 28 of Yao. Desperate to find his way past the 74, who's just sitting there just saying, look, dude, that's just qualifying race. <laughs> Kai Dwarf just wanting to get through this one and where is that hook? Oh, no, it's a back marker, isn't it? Yeah, back marker as they uh, emerge out of that final turn and all of a sudden Harup has come back into play. This is for fifth place. Not going to sneak through there though. Good to see Harup up there. Another face threatening, you know, the, the, the top guys, the main protagonists, if you like. Really starting to believe this year. see how the racetrack is just not really developing is it there's no real deep ruts or anything else it's a bit wishy-washy in the corners you can open up the track go wide and and cut back through but at the same time it's high speed for everybody these three locked together now one of these is going to try and outsmart the other one right you can see the anger in Bial's riding how early he's getting on the throttle on the inside he's losing the rear end almost everywhere and that's just pure adrenaline hey, and all my, uh, yeah. takes himself out and so you can yell down you can see it coming uh he's over aggressive getting on the throttle before the, the tire was really set up to and yeah it's i hate to see him go down there but the the frustration was building lap after lap after lap so tom bial out of fifth place after a frustrating qualifying race here in portugal picks himself up dusts himself down watch this gets it wrong here watch back end comes around on him face plants at the top of the hill and uh, harab just said don't mind if I do. <laughs> well, and Harp had a front row seat for that entire development. 15 minutes worth. And then Harp.